Well, welcome to Turn 1 and we've had a great start to the year despite a small COVID hiccup. We've had our seed welcome picnic, we've had swimming sports for the junior, middle and senior schools and our rowers got to have their head of the lake. We're looking forward to sharing with you some of the things that are going on and that are coming up this term. Well, there are a few learners in our school that are more excited about the start to the year than our preps. What are your favourite things that you've been doing in prep? PE. No, ah, and what have you been doing in PE? Um, sack raising. Mm. How about you, Miller? What's your favourite thing? Learning about numbers. Good. Holly? Um, playing with my friends. Good. What about playing you, Isaac? Playground. Great answers. What an awesome start to the year. Well, another group that are very excited about their start to the year is our year sevens who have just joined the middle school. Clara, tell us about camp. How was that? Uh, really good. Um, the walk was my favourite bit. Um, it was a big beast. Yeah. And when I got to the top, it was really enjoyable and the view was incredible. Lots of satisfaction from the walk. Good. Lily, your favourite subject? Uh, probably IMP. Um, it's, it's got, they've got such a range of instruments that you can choose from and it's really fun to experiment with like your mouth and what sounds it can make. Good. What instrument are you hoping to play? Um, the trumpet or the, trumpet. the viola. Oh, okay. And Jack, how was the Aquatics Carnival? The Aquatic Carnival was just amazing. Just the team spirit of just all the different houses. It was just amazing. Even if you were coming absolutely dead last, <laughs> I'd cheer you on no matter what. And good. you both are boarders. Yes. How's that been? Yeah, it's been pretty good, hasn't it? Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah? yeah. And having lots of house brothers and yes. sisters. Yeah. How's good. that? Yeah. yeah. It's good just to have so many different people to talk to. Yeah, yeah. the Year 12 mentors are really good because they look out for everyone. Yeah. Well, I'm standing in front of the new Heinz building extension, which is three additional flexible classrooms that can be used for art and science and creative activities. They can also be opened up to accommodate the whole year nine group so that they can gather together. Our refurbishment of the internal area of the Heinz building for year nine students continues. We've also created some fabulous outdoor garden areas for our younger students in the junior school. We've adapted a residence adjoining the school so that our applied learning students have their own facility and classrooms. And the year five, six building, which is 10 additional classrooms for our junior students has gone to tender and we expect that to get underway in mid-May with it being a 12 month build. Our thanks go to our grounds and our gardens teams who undertake so many of these works and provide stunning results for our students and community. Over the summer, we converted one of our local residences to be the Applied Learning Hub. How is it, boys? Yeah, it's good because now we have our space to learn. So congratulations, Bridget, on being appointed the 2021 Sustainability Captain. We're delighted to have you in the role. Could you tell us about your first initiative, which started last year, but are being rolled out this year with the food waste bins? Yes, so recently the Environmental Committee has rolled out a new initiative of food waste bins for organic waste with all the food going to a worm farm to just increase our awareness of where our food goes rather than filling landfill up with it and as well as increasing our awareness of our food it also increases everyone's awareness of where all their other rubbish goes and it's a really accessible way to just minimise our environmental impacts. Good. And Clean Up Australia Day, tell us about that. So Clean Up Australia Day is held every year on the March, on the 7th of March. So the Environmental Committee are planning to do a clean up within the school campus of just cleaning up any rubbish that's around and trying to maintain the environment in its natural state. Sort of. And by the time you're watching this, they'll have already done an exceptional job. Good luck with your year ahead, Bridget. We're very proud of all that you and your committee are doing. Thank you. Like all schools across Australia, we've been very concerned to hear via the petition in Sydney of the number of young women who are making reports of assault. We take incredibly seriously our responsibility to educate our students around sex, sexuality and consent education. But we can never do enough and our undertaking is to always do better 
with and for our young people, for them and for our community's future. I want to thank everyone in our community for managing this recent period of disruption so well. To our parents for your support and understanding as we've had our students at home for those three days and particularly our boarding families who had their children home for a full week. Thank you to our teachers who adapted to that period of learning at home and then to having students back as well as all of our support staff across the school. And finally, I commend our students on their resilience in managing that period so well. We're looking forward to a great finish to the term and we look forward to seeing you at one of our upcoming events or regional gatherings.